In our first example here, we have f of x equals x minus 3, quantity squared, x plus 4, quantity cubed, times x minus 1. So let's consider the degree and the leading term. If we were to multiply all this out, this first term would contribute an x squared. This term would contribute an x cubed. And this term would just consider the x. So notice we're only considering what these exponents are. There's technically a 1 right here. So by multiplying all this out, we would get x squared times x cubed times x, and that's x to the sixth. Notice the leading coefficient for all these factors inside is 1, and there's nothing over here like a 3 or a 7 to multiply by again. So we, our leading term test says we get y equals x to the sixth. So let's see what category we're in. It's even, so that means the arrowheads are going to point in the same direction. And since this is a positive number, that means they're both going to point up. So um, for me, since we're just sketching, this is not going to be exact. I'm just going to draw my arrowheads both pointing up in the same direction. Okay, so now let's do our roots. Notice our first root will come from the factor x minus 3. That means the corresponding root would be x equals 3. So I'm just going to put a closed dot. What you have to imagine is that you're setting this equation equal to 0. By the zero product property, you would set each factor equal to 0. So basically, since it's all factored, you're setting the insides equal to 0. So if we set the factor x plus 4 equal to 0, notice we would get negative 4. And lastly, x minus 1 set equal to 0, we would get 1. So now, after all that is said and done, we'll now consider the multiplicities. When your multiplicity, meaning how many times the factor appears, when your multiplicity is even, the graph touches the x-axis. When your multiplicity is odd, the graph crosses the x-axis. So notice that our first root, x equals 3, way up here, we have an even multiplicity, namely 2. So that means we're going to touch at x equals 3. At x equals negative 4, we have an odd multiplicity, the 3 there. So that means it's going to cross at x equals negative 4. And lastly, this is also odd, 1. So at x equals 1, we're also going to cross. Okay, let's go through the problem itself. Notice our first root from left to right occurs at negative 4, starting at my arrowhead. And negative 4 will cross. My next root I'll get to is x equals 1, which again I will cross. And the last root is 3, and we're going to touch, which means we're going to have a, like a little heel here. It's going to come down, hit the 3, and then go back up. And I'll finish at the other arrowhead. This is touch. So again, figure out the leading term. It's x to the 6. 6 is even. That means the arrowheads go in the same direction. 1 is positive. That means it opens up. No reflections. So the arrowheads are, in, the, in this case, the first and third quadrant. Secondly, uh, figure out where the roots are. Negative 4, positive 1, positive 3. After you figure out the roots, consider if it crosses or touches, depending on the multiplicity, even or odd. And this one will be graphing negative 3x cubed, x plus 1, x minus 2, quantity cubed. If you want to pause and try this now, go right ahead. I'm assuming that you paused. Let's do the end behavior by the leading term test. If we multiply this out, this would be a negative 3x cubed times. This pro would provide an x times, and this would provide an x cubed. Means that our leading term would be a negative 3x to the seventh. The power, the degree, is 7, which is odd, which means the arrowheads will be in opposite directions, one up, one down. Since this is negative, that means it's a reflection. So our first arrowhead will be in the top left, and our second arrowhead will be in the bottom right. 
go back to the beginning of this video to see those arrowheads in action. They're crazy like that. Now note we have three roots again. X cubed means that X is zero, is a root. X plus one means X is negative one, is a root. And here, X would be two, is the last root. Okay, we're actually gonna have a squishy graph, but that's okay. Notice all the exponents are odd. We have a three, a one, and a number, and another three. So because of that, we're going to be crossing the whole time. So here we go. We're going to start at this arrowhead. We'll cross at negative one. We'll cross at zero. We'll cross again at two. And we'll just make it to the arrowhead, just barely. I'll do this. I'm allowed to. You're not. Sorry. So again, we had three crosses. That's pretty much it. Good luck.